All right then. I guess here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, pole sana kwa muhengi. Li alikuwa naona ni mjanja lakini hakuwa ever sure hakuwa amepanda. So li ujanja yako hapo ndio imekufikisha. Eh DJ. <laughs> right, CJ is on the way, but as you can see, up here we have uh, Roberto Bobby. What going? What's happening? I'm good. I feel good. You go sour. See that thing? I just woke up. When I'm a superstar, you feel like you're shorted. Everyone is doing something to yeah, your hair. Yeah, 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 that was really. Sasa wakupati tu mai ngalam, and then you're like, good morning. <laughs> Let's do the thing. Yeah, but I feel good. How are you yeah. feeling? You go sour, sana. I love where they majority book ni shtua ya ku change, but uh, it would put a damp on the supreme <laughs> yeah you have you to like this kind of weather i don't like it so much mimi na spend ile i don't like of course too hot of of the yeah, song yeah but i again pia spend iko baridi sana watu wanashinda shinda na na jumper nini got show some skin okay i get that summer weather <laughs> feel free <laughs> what Ah, yeah. You know, I'm not bad. All right. Got it. Yes. Shut up, boy. Wagwan. I'm a bad man, too. Whole life thing. Congratulations. Give thanks, Rasta. Big boys of Shibali. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Thing was nice, Thing man. was nice. Thing was great. What one I teach a marudiwo? Yes. Eh. Hey. Nafikiria by, by Christmas. Mm-hmm. Naza rudia. Naza give it to them. Yes. Now, let a... Uh, okay, sorry to view of Kidogo. This show is about the happenings who call Momayas. Yes. In Momayas. Yes. In Momayas. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Next screening we let our western politicians because okay. they are yap yap yapping around everywhere wanadhani ku shine kubunge Nairobi na kwa grao vitu zinaumia eh tafadhali all right it's my request and okay i shall do that thank you very much ndio <laughs> yes unachukua leave lini mimi leave sijui sasa hizi sidhani hata niko na days unajua rosa na watch ndio nataka tu ukichukua nikupeleke kwetu kambani basi hiyo itakuwa zile ukae tu wiki moja sio naambia Roberto unapenda jua yeah just one week in kambani in my home lakini hiyo yenyu one will ask you for rent lakini ask you for anything hiyo jua yenyu that one week hiyo jua yenyu ni yenye haina mai so it can be a problem so you see this where we feel like we in the we in europe when yes. is coming when is it you go sour man all right while it rains caught a lot of people by surprise so bia cj is stuck in traffic Uh, Roberta is also stuck in traffic but in Dubai. <laughs> <laughs> she is in the spirit yes. with Shazmin. Yes. <laughs> and uh, and and everybody. So it's all good. It's all good. We appreciate and appreciate love. We're going to kick start the show. Today we're talking about a very interesting topic up to I thought I would change that idea also to be uh, occupation married or a relationship. But anyway, I was talking with them maybe it will change. So there it is. Do you think oh there is a question I on there. Do you think money runs or ruins relationships that's the question of the day you can start you can jump right in it with your initial raw thoughts to <laughs> raw. do you think money runs or ruins relationship sms2242 the hashtag to use is daybreak vile timona niangalia unaweza nitumia view yako pia kwa simu kwa namba yangu and itaisoma do you think money runs or ruins relationships this is because there's a certain um a uh, screen grab that CJ uh, shared i don't know if we were able to uh, get it uh, we need i can just read the conversation as we jump into that to manage to work there yeah iko ama haiko so it's a conversation that CJ ali share up from a gentleman called Dan Dan ali say you know we would dem akasema no dem anambia Dan i'm sick and tired of you cuz yako ni kusema pesa hakuna kwani unauza mawe Chali akasema dia. Okay, chali akikuita dia. Unajua things I think akasema dia kindly tulia. I think he said tulale. But tulia. You have been throwing insults to me from 10. Why don't you understand me? I'm still struggling. Me am Kenyan with this business. Hata wewe unajua while I was on a pay slip, I gave you a good treat till job ikaisha and I had to work with commission. We anasema I need them anasema I need to feel that commission. Like when is the last time you gave me money for my hair and petty spending? Yeah, kama ninaguza ninakuguza pale unaweza sema amen. Haya, anasema I understand it's long but to lie I fix mambo kadha then I'll do all that. Huyo akasema Dema akasema do this, fanya hivi, let's part ways. Haina haja kusumbuana, punda amechoka. Ni anajiita punda lakini afanye kazi. Ni sawa. Haya. Huyu jamaa anamuuliza nimekosea wapi? 
anasema sikutaki tena anyways unataka kulala sasa lala huyu anasema ndalala aje dia niambie kosa yangu ni gani ingekuwa mimi na mimi ningedoe but hapo mbele alienda akamwambia mimi ni gari kubwa mimi ni gari bwakus all right so that is the context of sort of that's a conversation that happens not only on this screen grab that CJ shared but people are talking about them hata ataki ku, anataka kukula hata commission <laughs> Watch a pay slip commission but there is a lot of uh, conversation around that because in that um, place he talks about how when i had a pay slip i was helping you so they were stable at some point and then kuna yeah kasa we robata was wrong yeah but you have such a cheeky <laughs> smile going on kasa tu story na take fikiria venyenda balance no 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 <laughs> Why is it by the yo yenye mumetumia hapa this is very good this is the balance you're talking about asante ni sana uko juu sijui nani ako graphics but big up yourself my man or my girl so that's the thing that's what we want to talk about today let me ask you the question Bobby. do you think and you look nice in red do you think that money runs or ruins relationships or both or like you're talking about the balance yeah I think I think money money uh, makes things better. Mm. <laughs> money <laughs> The problem is mm. the people who are involved uh where they've met themselves at, how they love themselves or why they love each other, why they are with each other. Mm. But I'm not going to say money is evil or money ruins relationship. Mm. No, I think money is good. It makes things better. Even the Bible says it is the love. Yes. Of money. <laughs> so maybe That is the root of evil, not money. Money is good. I'm like, yeah, I'm a big support. <laughs> Even when I when I have money, I'm just happy a genuine. Right, right. When I don't na kwanga irritated na vitu ndogo ndogo. So I I think I mean in the screen grab that we were discussing or we were to discuss, I think what really wale wanye wako involved kwa your relationship au wasendo wana mess up kwa sababu you can clearly see from the tone of this discussion or how they're relating with each other it's like money is the only reason she's with him right. now that is what i have a problem with i mean not on a personal level i just think it's wrong to be with someone because you're using them but then again I, I tend to think that all sorts of relationships are symbiotic in some way mm -hmm. and we all want something from each other right. at the end of at the base of it yeah like i'm not with you just because we do nothing or we don't talk to each other i'm with you because i you know like things so <laughs> so i feel like money is good and it makes things better but i think if ka point to say one and to push it sana na to take advantage of each other right Now that one I don't agree with. Mm -hmm. That one I feel like it's wrong. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So taking advantage is where you draw the line. Yes. All right. Shut up, boy. Depends. Wow. Depends on it who's be. taking advantage of and what it is. <laughs> <laughs> it might be someone who doesn't even notice or mm -hmm. care mm -hmm. because the money is it's the, in, Yeah, in, they, it, it's in However, they that there's a flip side to that that when these people who don't notice or care and the money is in abundance and they realize that oh so you you're with me for the money do manake do manake so <laughs> atakumi street but akwambie i see ni kutumia 500,000 the other day eh toshaka ban hizi vitu zingine you can come home find me with another girl in the bed asmala nyumba si yangu si uko na 500,000 we press yes just step big big <laughs> go to the big boys of shibali <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> huh? all right shata what do you think before we, but first let's introduce let's cj atemo is in the area how are you doing sir good. yes you okay yes i am everything is good You relaxed. He <laughs> seems so happy. I know he's, he's <laughs> really. Yeah, you relaxed. seem relaxed. Like Let's use that word. Well. Relax is whether or not there are things happening. <laughs> you are centered. <laughs> But you're all right. I am good. It's good 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 to have you. Good to have. Ah, <coughs> uh, CJ is only shared the screen grab, so he'll definitely have more to you say about to it. <laughs> so, yeah, it's to put it in context. <laughs> it's it's a, it's a, it's a give and take. <laughs> No. Symbiotic. No, he I'm I was looking for answers. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you've heard what Bobby said. <laughs> so now hear what Shata said. Uh, Shata, what do you think? All right. Kaza ni shukuru Mungu that CJ amefika. Umeanza na kujikona. Kwa sababu siko hata kuongea kama yuko hapa. because ni ningependa leo tusite kwa same side. The last time we took same side. I went on feeling weird. Guys. 
What's happening with Something me? is wrong. <laughs> with me now. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but I'm going analogy of chakula. Mm -hmm. Sani kimeja, food kimeja kwa sani. Mm -hmm. That plate is considered very beautiful. Mm -hmm. Sindio, sa ile chakula imejia kwa sani. But once you eat that food and finish the food in that plate, yo sani waza kuitwa chafu mm -hmm. immediately. When, when you just place the plate down, na kijiko, they say toy sani chafu wapu. Mm -hmm. But three minutes ago, it was beautiful. It, was beautiful. it had all sorts of amazing All right? Mm -hmm. That is a man <laughs> for you. Right. And that plate is you. And that food is money. Mm -hmm. With that money, you're very beautiful. Without that money, you are you chav. And that is a reality every man must live with. Because that is society where it, it might not be ideal, but that is where we are in. You know, that is why kuna siku nilisema ba mwanaume fai kwa before afike 40. Before afike 40. Before afike 40. Well, then. Let me tell you, this society has been made to make sure you never think about you. Mm -hmm. You will utapelekwa shule utrainiwe hadi 24 years. Sindi I'm assuming that that is umeenda mpaka campus. Mm. Same 24 years you're done with campus. The moment umemaliza campus hivi ukiangukia kazi kimungu mungu tu at 25 ama 26 pressure inaanza immediately get married. Mm. What else are you waiting? <laughs> Unangojea nini? Hey. We want to see we want grandchildren. Mm. We want to hii Nairobi hakuna mwanamke umai kuongelesha ama huko kusmailia. <laughs> No, what I want to say is that you talk about the campus and the green building. Bus. Moja, Fidigialdem, yeah, and all that pertains More like to this degree. To this degree. Yes. Go and practice the idea. Go and practice the idea. Go and practice. When you only practice, I could fraud anyway. So, go on. So, you, you know, talk a system, you make a point where you are a point where you are a grown up, you are a door, immediately you have a responsibility. You know, you start thinking of this woman and these children. Mm -hmm. Wanna get? Mm. At no point will you ever sit down and think about you. You will think about you in retirement, at 70, when your children have left you, and they have gone and they go with their mother abroad, and they say, Baba Mbashi Akichunga Boman Kenya, you know? And you are all confused, and you don't have time now to, to even strategies about your life. That's why I say, Although there are some man, certain 70, 60 years old who've gotten back in the game. Imagine. Yeah. But you're getting back but in the game. But still at 70 years. Later. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's, it's, yeah. But if someone gave you time at the age of 24 to Mamaliza campus, na ukasaidiko, ukatama kata five years, bila kuwa, then you got your job, or you did a biz, you started a business na me work. Umekua financially independent for like 15 years. Before you're settling down with someone, you know what you want. <coughs> you know? Na una stress at inaza kuhitishu wa donor za kufaya nini, usha jipanga. Kwa hii maisha. Unelewa? How jipangi ukiwa na watu hapa? When you want to get married, you want to go back to school, you find your masters. Uh -uh, I need to pay school fees. Oh, see, easily parent and one one bedroom anymore. That man is on your corner, but you know, so you start sacrificing yourself because of this possibility that society placed on you. You know, get so me, me, who boy child of another child, don't know what they must come to me that he saw the true colors, and I hope you stepped. I hope I'll be able to lale, ali lale. Kama aku lala, please mwambia na pata kalale wadi. Kilizi. Eh, mi nilizo meyo teksi kasa wa mi na ini nge lala. Very important. Mi and sleep, ah, it's not, me, I've never lied to any woman that, yo, I can't sleep, I'm not about you. Amera, nita lala. If I can't sleep, I wake up, how will I function? Yeah. Anyway. Sorry. Ah, CJ, now that you've had everything in context, have you gotten some, some sort of answers, like you said, you are looking for some answers. I have a problem with Shatter's answer. <laughs> <laughs> we are back in game. We are back in business. <laughs> in business now. Ah. What, is the, what is the challenge? Um, I don't think that men are generally and all the time pushed by society. Because we've got, we've got a lot of young guys, for example, in campus who are already fathers. You know, there's just this innate drive for a man, they come to a place of awareness and um, they begin to pursue girls even when they're in high school, mm. you know, but they get into campus. So some of them find themselves in spaces where they even met a girl pregnant in campus, but then they were not financially empowered. So I don't think that it is always because people are expecting men to get into a family. I think it's just the accident of biology <laughs> where <laughs> he'll find himself attracted to somebody. Uh, this thing goes all the way to a particular place. He's 24. There is a baby. 
he's not ready for that. He doesn't know how to deal with that. Um, so it, it comes more to responsible decisions to be made also by the guys. There are situations where you'll find somebody has to take care of their family, and those are very unfortunate situations. Mm. But again, I do believe it's a blessing still to be able to share whatever you have. The only thing is that there should never be the pressure where somebody feels it is a must. Now, whether that comes from their friend <coughs> or from the lady he's relating to, uh, that becomes a huge, huge, huge issue. But coming to the text that well, was brought out, you know, um, you said it in the group that there are people whose profession is being in a relationship. Yes, sir. <laughs> Name, Brenda. <laughs> Occupation, marriage. <Married. laughs> it's a very sad thing. It's yeah. a very sad thing because there are very hardworking, genuine men that are being pushed off the cliff just because of the pressure either to compete or to meet a certain lifestyle that this lady would not meet for herself in five generations. So she will think that if I have a man, then the man should take care of absolutely everything. That becomes very draining. I believe in men providing, but I don't believe in them being abused either. It becomes very draining. Everything that the man and the woman does should be based on love. You know, it should be something that somebody wants to do. And when the person loves you, they'll probably go out of their way and do more than what is required. That's what love makes people do. They'll do more than is required. The moment that love aspect is affected, you'll find people doing the bare minimum. They come back to what is just their obligation. I'll pay the rent, I'll take care of the fees, nothing else. Mm -hmm. When there is love, you'll find their extras. You know, the rent will be paid and the man will not even think about it. There will be the fee and they'll still be thinking about the holidays, the gifts and stuff. So when you begin to show that you're in a transaction and not a relationship, the person begins to pull back. And they also feel that since it's the money that you're interested in, if they're already uh, related to you in form of marriage, for example, or they have a child with you, <coughs> then they will feel that they just need to meet their obligations. And that is, we are talking about if you have a good man. Mm -hmm. Because other men will do what Shatter talks about. <laughs> but, <laughs> what a yeah. yeah. But if you have a good man, then they will feel mm -hmm. they should do the bare minimum, mm -hmm. which is to take care of the bills and that, but they'll never give you themselves. Mm -hmm. I think that anybody in a relationship should appreciate the efforts that the other person is making and the other realities around them that they have to deal with. I'm married to a wife, but I also have family. I've got other things. I've got personal goals. I've got things that I want to do as well. So you cannot make somebody work for you, my bottom line. Mm. You cannot be sending, they cannot be your slave that every day, you know, send me 2K. I don't know where that 2K figure came from, but. It's very nene. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's, maybe it will change in future, yeah. after one year, <laughs> when the price of things are like done. Nene as for 20. 2K are gently. Yes, so I feel true. that, I feel that where there is no absolute commitment, you should not expect to be taken care of every day. You're not this person's wife, for example. Um, then there are certain things you shouldn't expect. Just the same way he shouldn't expect certain things. You're not going to come and live in that house and take care of that house and he's not married you. So why would you want the man then to take care of you as if you're the wife and yet you are not? But even when you're the wife, then you have come into a team. You didn't come there to become part of the liability. You have come there to become a helper to this person. So it doesn't mean that because you are married, then you become the sole and um, hold responsibility of this person as well. Mm. Mm. You become the breadwinner and every time you're winning gold, kill a oh, soup, breadwinner, breadwinner. Need to meet 2K, fair. Need to meet lunch, lunch. <laughs> anyway, it's all good. Uh, Bobby. I say something. No, you don't want Bobby to? I, I got, Bobby oh, is the lady oh, 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 here. We need to. make a cliffhanger in what she just said then. Nikki I think that. Let's listen saying. to what Shata wants. Yeah, because I, I don't think off. he can remember. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right, go ahead. First of all, you see, there's a mistake that we do. There is a difference between a father and a husband. Okay. okay, so for the, mm. the 19 year, 24 year old. Yes, there's a difference between a father and a husband. The fact that you have my child does not make you my wife. 
Uh-huh. You know, if we were in campus, both of us, and, and we did what we did and we got a child, it, it is not a certificate for marriage. It might work and it still might not work, and both of them are okay. No one took advantage of the other. We were all grown-ups getting to this one. That is a mistake boys are doing out here. You know, you get married to a person because they got your child and you sign yourself to misery. Mutu mwenye ameamua maisha yako yote, hauta waishi poa. Na ni hadi yo 24. Na ni hadi yo 24. Ame kudhulumu kwa hivyo. 24 years sasa. Suli niyanga bol, ni kama alijukua kwa mwakelea hivyo. Oh my god. That is number one. <laughs> leo, now, leo muko namba ya mbaya. <laughs> ni kusema tu aje angalie bocha leo. Hiyo ni kitu inatuwapenia sana. Yeah. You know, and we are some of us speaking from experience. Uh-huh. If you know, you know. Mm-hmm. Okay. Number two. Kuna kitu uh, l- let me digress kidogo. Okay. There is something I see uh, Kenya police do with, with uh, alcohol blow. Mm. Wameka Barabara zimerudi by the way. Yes, they are back people. Langata road iko, CGT mm. road road. Road. So, you Ika know, road. one day nilipita hiyo hiyo alcohol blow. Then I'm asking myself a question. So what are you doing? So say imeekwa Langata road, si ndio? Hapo 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 kwa cemetery, si ndio? Say I'm coming from Kiserian. All the way nimepita mimi hiyo galeria nimekuja mpaka hapo. If I was drunk and if I was to make an accident Seeing it happen too from Kiseria Nuko, it can still happen. Right, even you know? before you get to the... Before I get to the roadblock that they have put, right. if I'm drunk. Mm. The accident can still happen, you know? God forbid, yes. Yes, unailewa. So, you are treating a symptom. Why don't you come up with a system where I will not leave a bar drunk, Nagari? Mm. You know? Mm. Because the problem starts at me sitting on that wheel drunk. Yes. Yeah. There's a bad accident in your bar. Unailewa. Therefore, if you are to make it completely secure that I can't leave a bar drunk. Nagari, that either bus is square in a parking, ni, that nikimaliza hivi ukunyo nitaita taxi ni enda na nyumbani, you solve that problem. Sindio? Now bring it to our context here. The problem we have here today of men feeling bad wa kitushwa pesa is because we are getting married kama tuna pesa ya kutosha. What we are doing is that we are setting roadblocks. Kwa barabara. If I had enough money and Bobby is my wife, and she's asking for money from me. I need pesa ya nywele, pesa hii. Ni ingekuwa na shida gani? But, Take the money mama, you my wife. In the words, I did it. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Give shata mali. Give shata. Yes. Nifanya kazi 40 years kama sijaoa mtu, kama sijakuwa na pressure yote, niki amass wealth. So that the moment I bring people on this earth, I am ready to take care of them. Because that narrative is not going to change. Okay, I but let me that ask. That narrative is, is not going to change. I, think I, I, think I, think you I agree. I agree with CJ to disagree with you. No fire. Disagree. I don't <laughs> think <laughs> think <laughs> because, First of all, what do you have? What is the hurry? What is the quantity? A man does not have an expiry yeah, date. Okay, what is the hurry? Okay, hold on. At the age of 20. Hold on. To how much is sorry? <laughs> how much is enough money? How do you calculate? Okay, this is how it is enough. One. At in in the, at, of by the age of 40, <laughs> <should switch> <laughs> ask me a question. At the age of 40, at the age of 40, I have lived life. I have known the woman I'm coming to get married to will be satisfied with the kind of wealth I have amassed. Who tells you at 40 you've lived life? The life starts at 40. <laughs> That is the 40 year old, I've told you. Yes, 40 years old, I've told you. See, even if it's 50. Even if it's 40. The former age of 40 at 6. And the age of 40 at 6. John, John, 50 at 50. Okay, hold on, let's see, Jay, and then we'll come to Bobby. Shatter has never been 40. Yes, hold on. Let's see, Jay, and then we'll come to Bobby. Shatter has never been 40. Yes, we will not talk about 40. <laughs> he doesn't know what 40 <laughs> looks like. <laughs> but I think the thing that, you know what he's saying, and what, what I would go against is, it doesn't mean that once you've made money, you're looking for people to spend it on. Because most, most people who make money, they make money out of discipline. There are certain principles that they apply. In fact, most rich people rarely give out their money mm. because of this what it true. took yeah. to make that money. They have become rich by principle. So they're not just looking for who will be asking for money today and they splash it on. Otherwise, I mean, these guys would be just pouring out their money like every day. Mm -hmm. But they also want a sense of responsibility. In fact, most times, even with their own children, they will want their children to have the same money (coughs) that they had. And that's why they will not, you know, even when they do things like the inheritance, they will not put the money on somebody that they think is going to run this money down. Right. There's that thing. Or if, they hold some in trust. If you have built <coughs> money for 20, 30, 40 years, you don't want to lose it overnight. 
and you don't want somebody who's coming in just to take it. Mm. So I don't think that if a man gets married at 40 or 50 because he's made money, he's going to look for a woman who he will just be splashing money on. Watch a and then you have I'm told you have some feedback here kuna watu wana I got answer this watu pia wana ruka huko mbaya sana go ahead bobby first let me start by saying that as a woman who dates moneyed men come on now <laughs> something that i've realized with these kind of men is that they hardly care about if i have my own money it's never like a topic at the old you have a job ama if we're discussing things about me it's always about how they can support whatever i'm doing how they can improve whatever situation so it means i'm doing something yes see you magatu yes okay but, no, wait, it does not matter but, <laughs> but but yeah what shatter is saying it right. it never matters to them it's never at it at we are on a job so stuck pe ama it's never like that they just care they just do cuz they care and they can and i'm not saying that only rich men i mean even men in whatever capacity and this is something i realize even with my male friends even the ones who don't have money when they are around me they take care of me they provide solutions when i say oh this happened to my it's always oh how can i what can i do what and it's not because they have the money but i think that is more of a reflection <laughs> because i know you personally <laughs> of who you are as a person it's not really let i me, think let me i think it. okay okay lana what right. shata <laughs> to, <laughs> to what shata is trying to say yeah i think where shata is at is that he's trying to say that when it's when you you're taking care of yourself and when it's there it stops becoming an issue of discussion so this is for it the stops men and the women being, for men and women okay it stops being an issue of it's like let's say i i date a guy who doesn't have money and i'm the one who has money if i care for him or let's just use a practical example like my brother he's younger than me he doesn't have a job like me so it's always need to me a credo need to me at no point in my life have i ever started to think this guy doesn't have a job he's always asking me for credit he's always cuz he's my brother it's love yeah it's, but he's your I, brother yeah. he's not your yeah, partner yeah yeah let me get to it <laughs> partner let me get to okay. it i'm just i'm just talking i'm giving an Generally example because yes. he's a man okay yes. i mean i haven't been i i have been in a situation <coughs> sorry thanks i have been in a situation where i've dated someone who didn't have money okay but for me it was like i just cared about him and i'm trying to show you guys that men who are emotionally intelligent Something. such things they're not issues for them like they're able to regulate emotions and they're able to take care of themselves and everyone around them without it ever being udem and nyombanga 2k udem why cause they're intelligent enough to surround themselves with people that they actually care about so even that girl that is there she's there because he likes her and he does not mind it's not a thing for i i don't think anyone should keep around someone who you feel is bothering you and they ask you for help so that it becomes something to troll about like udema na nyombanga 2k urgently kila siku like if you don't if you don't like her that's how you're gonna feel if you don't want to if the the relationship and i think you already know the kind of relationship you have so come on i feel uncomfortable it's because you're not in it for the for for the love or the feeling yes. Can I, but i will I, say this I mean, Story, no yeah. wait okay. we still have feedback no, you, you have uh, i was supposed to answer then it's okay but i want to i want to give a very critical important you have to you, this you not disclaimer this <laughs> I, i want to give a critical caveat yes. to robertas uh, nini sorry sorry <laughs> People, Roberta ni demboa. That's why I'm not into him. I'm a jealewa. I have an emotional intelligence. I'm a jibeba. I'm a jibeba vizuri. That's why those men are treating me like that. Who <laughs> could call these streets? Mm-hmm. The Canairo. Yeah, man. So, let me let me It's finish. It's a different story. So I, I I like that you guys agreed that the society <coughs> is, or rather, you brought up Shata what she said. You brought up that the society pushes men mm. to become this sort of providers, and then they start to lose their. like they start feeling like their worth is based off of their money because of how they're treated and how they're received by the society mm. but i need you guys to understand that you don't need to shift the blame like where is it coming from who created this system where you people are being made to feel like that is it the women uh, mm-hmm. is it the women no. it's patriarchy that's it it's 
men yes. who are making you men Thank you. be like that. Not really. Uh, excuse me, I'm with yeah. Bobby today. Can I, can I, I, I will hug you after this show. I will see. Please, I better hug you. I will see you today. <laughs> Please, I gotta say uh, something. So, you know, jam. There is a place where you can go and eat Tisha. You can go and have to wait. There's a there's a place where you can go and eat Tisha illegally or not. When you say Tisha Kakiru, you pay a function at the junction, you pay a pesa. Kuna yo. Yes. Yeah, kuna place ya hiyo. Na ka street up and named after one of our hosts. Mhm. <laughs> 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 there is a place for that, but I don't think the pressure is coming from other men at the, so me. because now you see how um mutu ex the pressure takes starts care, with your father takes care of takes you care want of to visit the hot girl like me uh, where, really? because you know how it makes you look no, no, other no, 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 no. but but we are hot girl by there kuna ma hot girl hawana kitu hapa wengi sana wengi sana i would add a statement at the end but <laughs> but andikwa but andikwa but kuna wengine wako face card rejected lazima ukwa na kakiru all right anyway where were we going next? I was about, I was, I was saying something. <laughs> but CJ has, you so okay. then you give, supposed to respond. You will give CJ time and interrupt it. No problem. Okay. <laughs> all right. First of all, it should be known that when Roberta was talking, two cameramen here, Timo and Mike, gave me water to continue talking for the boy child. <laughs> yes, I felt my voice was going. In case somebody felt my voice was going, they have given me water. Continue talking for boys. Okay, shout out to Mike yes. and Timo. More life thing. Boy, boy, and Gash has gone to bring more water. <laughs> Very good. <laughs> Guys, Mwai Kuona, I'm a millionaire. What you complain at the oh, Mama and Shepherd Samuel? Never. Has it ever occurred to you that it is we from the Gero that complain every day that, eh, Nimi Shepherd Samuel? Oh, Mtu yana taka kuna trip. But unajua oh, hao millionaire kuna kaliber flani ya. Excuse me. Mfidigali. You said don't interrupt. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Well, I'm just like no. I'm hung, let me say like Roberta, even me I've hung around millionaires. Yes. <laughs> Dare I say fellow millionaires? <laughs> <laughs> well, <it's>, I'll show <laughs> me. No. You see, I was about to say that. I was about to say that. Like he's sitting next to one. Yeah, there you go. Bro, yeah. Next to two, actually. I'm sitting next to two. So, so ni njia moja kujua. All right. Yes, I am in between them. Okay. And is she she around? She she. Next time we need to Please. I am being suffocated. I feel as if you pitch your make a ball go good anyhow. Eh. coins. Anyway, that's why it wadau. Hakuna atiao wa millionaire ako na pesa, ata complain mama anaitisha basic needs. Ju ki kweli dude miaka kukapoa is a basic need. Yes. Sio luxury. And nobody has a problem with kukapoa. Sasa ngori ni hii, yani huu mwanaume alikuwa anaambua achunge mama. Yes, but but mara mwisho ulinipa shot hold on. Leo ita it be back and forth. Skiza. Kuna kukapoa that is okay. Basically like CJ said there is a just like this. There is a tent towards biology kwenda kwa side moja. Also like Roberto saying as a man even your brother even if you're around him and like say no job anything, he'll always want to try and help, right? That's true. So there is that thing, yeah. Uh, okay, sawa lazima Bobby akaepoa to nyuele makeup nini. That's okay. We have no issue with that. Sasa, yo, the issue is, is an issue with that. Now hold up. The issue is sasa wakati wewe after kukapoa, yes. hii kukapoa yako unatumia kufanya nini? Unakaa tu kwa nyumba ukingoja the rest. Haina shida. Who's the rest? Wanzishio wanikalia poa. Wanzishio nilikuwa nakalia ni mwingine. Wanzishio. Wanzishio biashara. Mhm. Ujaribu ku kwa shule. Oh, sijini. No, it's okay. Excuse me. But every day can't be just a day where you say okay today ni kutoka na kusikia poa day. Sorry nimesimama. Niko unaweza chukua for. Leo ni kutoka na kusikia poa day. Every day that's your work. Occupation relation Lazima kwa unafanya kitu. Excuse me, listen. Maisha ni tough. Tunangoja wani ya unga ishuki. Na kuambia hivi. Siliza. Before you interrupt again and again. Okay, I'm sorry. Iko hivi. Utakuwa na ishu mamachi kuambia umkalishi ya poa. Kama una pesa inafe kumkalishi ya poa. That is it. Kama kama umlike. That is the bottom line. Na this pressure that society ina... Munasama ikonayo. It is not women that have brought this pressure on us. It is women. It is our fathers. Excuse me, you you, but women you have our role. Really, wait, Buana. Okay. It is your, you, when you grew up, you saw, you saw your father doing everything. I saw my father. I 
Well, no. okay, mine. <laughs> well, okay, generally, men in the society, men in the society yes. were providers. Yes. And in women in society were caregivers. How did we know they are providers? Because we saw them do it. Okay. So this is not a thing that women have created. If you, if, if you want to deal with this problem, we have see, to go back. We see, have that's go back There's a difference between a provider and ah. quote unquote bless us, sponsor ETC. You know, Willis. Provider and your wife. Excuse me. Exactly. Your wife and children about. is okay. And who, who, who do you expect to be your, uh, your wife's sponsor? Oh, and your girlfriend. So <laughs> who is supposed to be your wife's sponsor if not you? Sinewewe. <laughs> exactly. But Sasa. Make money. Uh, excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Don't get married before you have enough money. That's what I'm saying. Now, right. in these 40 years you've lived, what is the enough money measure? Okay, this up. is it. You know, <laughs> do not yoke with an unbeliever. One. <laughs> I don't think that's the context. Now, Pesa, now, if you are going to 40 years, you will be able to get a gauge. You will be able to get a character development. You will be able to get a gauge. I am worth uh, 2 million. I'm not worth 4 billion like the CRS. <laughs> but, I will look for a woman that I can sustain with my two million. But that's the thing that I don't agree with. Why? We have to take another person 20 years to take another person to spend. We spend my life. Shouldn't it be, exactly, shouldn't it be that <laughs> what you're missing and why you should hang out more with me and CJ and millionaires. <laughs> why you, but why are you acting like the guy who's doing anything? Textbook. You see, guys. And that is what I'm saying. You in mean, this okay, context, you mean in a context bring the reality where, here. No, in this you mean context, in a context where the girl is not good for anything. No, no, I'm saying, not doing anything. No, I'm saying, for me, my context is that like Shata is saying, mm. And that's why I'm telling you to hang more on millionaires. And, 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 and you are making, you are actually, that actually making that point. You are actually making that point. I'm telling you, there is no exchange that, that women will start providing. Okay, Willis. that is not going to happen. Okay, hold Shata on. Shata is not. And that's not what you are saying. That they will never provide. And that's not what you are saying. Before Shata. CJ says, let yes. me just say this. I and drove through traffic also to speak. To speak. We need to talk as yeah, dakika kidogo. It's a bit. Watch out, watch out. But you made the point. Yes. CJ, go ahead. You know, first of all, it's ironical that Shatter will say that it's pressure from fathers. Because still, um, I grew up in an age earlier than himself. Mm -hmm. And even then, we keep talking about the absence of fathers. <coughs> I don't know which age he's referring to, that people grew up seeing that their fathers were doing this. If you ask around for most of the people that he claims to speak for, who are the boy child, see, Shatter speaks more from radio. Uh, <laughs> so he doesn't have personal <laughs> touch with his people. We have a lot of issues with absent fathers. Absent fathers. Yes. And even my generation, most of us did not have fathers present. So when you say, this is what you saw your father doing, some of us didn't see our fathers doing anything. But then you get to learn, this is the right thing that you need to do. You begin to learn it. So probably the challenge for most men is, how do I get myself into being this kind of a man who will be present for their children, who will not run away, because I could not meet needs, or even if the marriage or the relationship did not work, how do I become present in the life of my son or daughter, or that a lot of men are trying to learn that right now. So you'll see a lot of conversations around men trying to fix it. See, we cannot conform to reality. We've got to fix it to being the place where it needs to be. Because if we say these are the kind of women that we have, so we have to behave this way, we're going to keep the cycle of a very broken society. But the thing I was coming back to is, you know, I wanted him to do his rebuttal with this as well. Mm -hmm. you, you remember when uh, uh, Wayne Rooney was having issues yes. with his wife yes. then for spending. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not that the guy was broke. Yes. He had every kind of money. But then he had an issue that all this woman does was to go out and spend the money. So this thought that once a man has made money, he has no issue with the woman spending the money. It's a fallacy. There is nobody who is just looking for people to spend their money, no matter how generous they are. They want a sense of responsibility as well. So even when uh, Bobby is talking about, you know, I hang around moneyed men, they've got to but see. You guys are making it look like I was. No, I, 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 don't worry. I, I, I am with you, Bobby. <laughs> okay. Can you just I'm shut up? <laughs> Shut up, shut. Shut, 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 shut. No. shut in, shut up. Shut in, shut up. <laughs> you see, even yeah. when she says that, mm -hmm. it's not that those people just wake up and say, hey, you're a beautiful girl, so here, just be spending this. They pick your brains. They look at how you view life. They see how you structure yourself. 
It's your disposition. It's how you carry yourself. It's what you believe in. It's where you're trying to go and all that. So for them, this is nearly like an, an investment. investment. You know, it's an investment. It's not charity. The problem comes in when somebody is perennially charity that they have no vision, they have no purpose, they have no dream, they have no life, they have no drive, there is no self-drive at all, there's no direction, they're just there. So it's always charity. And charity, and that's what Willis was asking. Okay, well, after you've looked good, what next? The problem is not you looking good. The problem is not you having some pocket change. After that, what next? Because it can't just be that, you know, um, they fuel you every day, where are you going? What did you do with your day to day or something? In fact, if you look at the work psychology, if today, Willis, you were told, we're going to pay you this 2M per month, but you Excuse come. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I will listen in. Can they see? Focus on CJ. Watch out. Watch out. Cut away. Go back to CJ. <laughs> and ask him to repeat. And ask him to. From the top, CJ. From the top. <laughs> Go ahead. Today they say, we're going to pay you 2M per month. Mm -hmm. But then you come in here and you have no JD. Mm. You come and just sit. So you're waiting for, you're excited about the money, but you come and sit and you're waiting for, so what's my JD? Nothing. You just hang around. You're sitting at a desk, nothing. Nobody involves you, nobody engages you. You don't go into meetings, you don't make decisions. You're not involved, you're not informed, nothing. You sit there. In psychology, this, after a while, you will literally want to quit the job because you do not feel useful. It's never just about the money. It's also about the value because you want to feel that there is something you're bringing <clears throat> into this. And most of the time, uh, you know, the guys on the other side are laughing, but <laughs> most of the time, then people will literally nearly even walk out of something like that. And you see them go even into a startup because they feel needed, they feel useful, they feel wanted. That happens even with relationships. We've got, uh, for example, women who are married to rich men, and then they just walk out and go to somebody who's beginning because there is the need for every human being to feel needed, to feel valued, to feel like there's something they bring to the table more than just the outer looks. So I don't think that anybody, no matter how much they have, I don't think that anybody just wants to spend their money. If that was the case, even this farming situation we we're dealing with, there's enough billionaires here to have fixed that thing, but they won't give their money. And yet, Anyway, that's okay, now well. another story. Okay. <laughs> yeah, to CJ said I have to rebuttal. Now, like, uh, to go uh, to go na nini? Where he goes, please. To go na feedback. Okay, sir. <laughs> Excuse. <laughs> Number one. Me say my wife. 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 Me you are a former coach. <laughs> First rule to marry. So, sir, the one I'm talking about that sees a man making money and they, they yo, we want to make you responsible. Get married. Mm -hmm. And that has happened to very many professional footballers and athletes that they want to pin you down. Actually, they just give you a men woman. in general. Yes, they just give you a woman like, be responsible. Don't think about yourself. If the woman spending your money, you to pay. See you? Who you mm -hmm. the it's maybe an abend, eh? Anyway, yeah, also, I've just been reminded, Pia Kuna. Pia Willis, I'm a pewa maji, just. Kuna, so yeah, ata mimi, by the way, leo ni mepewa maji. <laughs> For the first time, no siya te kwangi, unyo, I want to be paid two million, so I have to sufficient word. Tuna kwanga na maji kwa studio. Anyway, uh -huh. eh, 50 cent also, aliko sananga na baby mama wake. Yes. 50 cent aka. I almost used the N-word. Yeah. He, got, <laughs> he got shot nine times. Yeah. He, I wake up blood, sweat, and tears. I can't even music. I can't mocka. I call his baby mama. Yo, what's happening, baby girl? You know, I love you, nothing. So what you want to do with your life? What you want? Mpango ni gani? I say, ah, Mr. Taki, where you shall mocka? I'm gonna mini fanya kazi. Yeah. If this account be a, in the words of Shatter Boy. <laughs> so anyway, let's take a look at some um, some feedback here. But I was going to say, Shata, you made the point. You started saying at, at 40, unanza kuangalia, what kind of eh, person. Eh, person. Here, what kind of person, one of the requirements is simu tuatana kuspend pesako. And by the way, if you are dating a super minded person, na unajua, you know in your heart of hearts, kazi yako ni kukua tu hapo kwa ma 
wa mabaa ku drive ile sija nasema unakuwa fulu na drive wewe jua tu si wewe ako na mtu mwenye ana tickle fans na kuna mtu ako na na kusema kwa okay na hivyo tu kwa sio yeye ne huyo dem ni sawa yo ako na 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 utatri speaking for women as men na utatriwa asa for me speak like the the, okay, the opinions speak, you guys are giving are coming from men mm. who don't like spending oh. money on women who no you don't like which is okay man no, no, no. no, no. you no, no. like you no 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 no, no. that's no. not the story spending money even is okay like even her. if you like them and even love if you them. like her yeah. Bobby, even you see the whole thing is even if it is your child live alone now a relationship even if it is your child you want to see a sense of responsibility even if it is just pocket money that you give this person you want to see a sense of responsibility it is not that you don't want to give them but then You see when you love people you have to teach them to live without you. Oh yeah. Yeah. If they have to be totally dependent on you if you are not there what happens? Mm -hmm. So true love teaches people to live without you. Yeah. And that's what you want to build in them yeah. so that they are not just always dependent. dependent on you. That's the whole thing. It's not that you don't like the person, it's not that you don't want the person and it's not that you don't want to spend. Mm -hmm. It's just that You don't want this to be temporary. Mm -hmm. You want it to be something that they also can come to where you are and they grow into that place. So if you are with me and I have money, I would want for you also to have money, mm -hmm. you know. So it is better when you learn how to make it as well. It doesn't mean that the man then will not spend on you. It's just that you have a backup. So you'll never have a temporary level where if this man is out of the picture, then you go down. Mm -hmm. I think that is true love. Yeah. Anybody that keeps you dependent does not love you. That's They want right. to control. Yes. They want to control you. Unaweza atapeleka mtu shule, akose kumaliza, jua kichwa ngumu, umfungulie biashara, akose awache, jua anaona uko sawa. Lakini bado leo sasa. Get personal. I promise. I promise Sheshi and uh, Timo will take feedback. Tamadhani, let's take some feedback. Watu wanaongea huko. Let's take a look at people are saying. I think Sheshi should have kwa hii screen nyingine kubwa. But let's take a look what they're saying up ivo. Um eh okay, whoever who can read. Iko mbali kidogo. Anasema money with discipline runs relationships but money without discipline ruins relationships aya huyo alafu kuna Lydia Lydia anasema for me eh hey, screen yenu pia yenye hiyo tu mile nikuje <laughs> Lydia says for real money real money is a sense of relationship because it's a defense to a lot of hey hiyo tu luacha ipite <laughs> but it's it's much very good for partners to work for that money aya <laughs> Esonero from Pwani money ruins relationship it makes men womanizers or prey to slay queens money is a devil in relation to true love is a little money contrary the bible does say that it is the love of money that is the root of evil not money itself so ni sawa hapo but ni sawa i will respect your opinion steven onyi from mombasa money does not ruin relationship with molds it only ruins it when it tries to irrigate a secret relationship on top or when the beneficiary starts thinking it is being milked secretly to begin another relationship na pastor nganga alisema tuache ku milk ngombe mbele watu <laughs> Shadrach from Canairo says money ruins relationships. The problem is when people love money too much in a relationship, one day they become bankrupt. They end up breaking up of breaking off the relationship since money uh, has erupted away. <laughs> <laughs> Hope says pesa hutafutwa. I think both runs and ruins it depends on how you use it. Yep, that is uh uh I can't hopeful. That. <laughs> That's hopeful. Thank you very much. <laughs> ben Kotokanaro can say I think money ruins relationships because at some point when money disappears, the girl or the boy also disappears. Faith Kome, money strengthens relationships. Oh, like, mm. yes. We have faith. Shadrach Omuse kutoka Teso, money really ruins relationships. Sometimes those in relationships may not agree at all. Money is not everything. <laughs> It's the only thing. Hey. <laughs> money ruins marriage. It is true. My ex-husband married and moved out after selling land. Yaani aliumba tu aliuza kashaba. Yuko kama alikuwa huko Karen. Alafu alikuwa anangoja tu exit. Aka press. Joseph, why will men do more than expected when love is involved? 
pastor, Ben Uma, men must decide to be visionary. Vision for their lives and family. Vision will demand focus, discipline, stability. Aimless lives are expensive and frustrating. For Pastor Ben, I'd say, for where he's put men, you can also put women. The same can apply. <laughs> ah, yeah. uh, is that the last one? You must be a leader. I did? Thank you. The <laughs> man Thank is born you. a leader. He's born a leader, but... It is your vision that needs to be... But can I see yes, my dear? I will be my leader, so... Right, but if you... <laughs> Na pia walikuwa na network. Tulikuwa kisema hapo my network. So pia palilia tu pale unaweza kidogo. Alafu tuta just I think I think I think at the base of the conversation um everyone just wants to feel loved and we want to feel like there's care and we're taken care of and we're valued. And I think what the boys are trying to say is that when it becomes that they're feeling like they're being used and there's no emotional connection, it's like you're only here for money. I think that makes them feel some type of way, right? I mean, which is okay, but we need them to start being more mindful of why we get into relationships with people. I mean, we need to start caring about how people feel. You know, the assumed notion is that men are able to be emotionally available or that men do not like to show up in their emotions. And I think that's starting to change. We're becoming more inten intentional and more intelligent, and we're starting to be able to exist ourselves in the relationships that we have. So I think the boys should be OK speaking about how they feel and how they feel about being in such relationships. If you start dating a girl or seeing a girl, or whether you have money or not, these are discussions that you should be able to have easily. Like, just talk about it. What are the expectations? What do you want Very from me? Yes. Yeah, like what what do you expect from me? How can we make each other feel good? So that when we are spending money on each other or when we are spoiling each other or whatever we're doing for each other, it's coming from I care about you and I want to show you rather than I have the money and I can do it. To be honest, it's better and sweeter when my man sends me money because he cares or because he remembered something or because he wants me to do something and take care of myself rather than when I have to keep asking him all the time, nipe, nipe, nipe. True, it feels being dependent on someone also like uh, in a toa dignity, in a fanyo feel nika hauko enough. And this is not taking from relationships that are like that. There are people who are in such relationships and they're perfectly fine. There's no control, there's no dynamics where there's abuse, it's the man has money, the woman is a homemaker, and it's okay. The structures that have been put in place in that relationship facilitate it for them to be easier and to be able to love each other in their own ways. There's no problem with that. But in a utopia, I wouldn't like, uh, I think in a utopia, people are not using each other for, for sex, for money, for whatever reasons you have. We care about each other, but that's not happening in the real world. In the real world, I'm not saying it's okay or that it's right, but I think I like that it has come up that you men feel some type of way emotionally about being used or abused financially. So let's have more discourse on that. Let, let the men be able to speak up more and say, yo, I have the money, but this is how I feel, and this is what I want. And the women should be able to do the same as well about their boundaries and their expectations. So it's OK to see, to, to, to get about this stuff, see lazima to use yane, but Pia took away very aware that is relationships in exist na wase wanazi mix the work. Just because I have an opinion doesn't mean that there's not a girl somewhere asking for 2K urgently and getting it. <laughs> <laughs> mm. urgently. She's better than yeah, me nah, because nah. she's asking like 20 dudes at uh, this uh, time. Yes. <laughs> urgently. Mm. And I want a message, broadcast message. Now, what's your tumor, by the way? Like, mm. mo like most guys, mo men, when they care about you, it ain't a thing. Like, it's never going to be, oh, damn, I'm not 2K. It's, even me as, a, as your friend, Shata, if I ask you for 1,000 bob, I doubt the conversation is ever going to switch to because I know you care about me and even yeah. if I don't tell you what I'm going to do with the thousand bob I don't think kutakwana but because again I say kwa sababu ni we there's also the part of sorry sorry okay. but there's also the part you know 
you can ask for money. Yeah. But I also, I also believe if every day you start asking Shatter for money, Atachoka. then now there'll be an alarm. Like, yeah. what's going on? Because you see, most people want, that's what I was talking about, long-term solutions. Mm -hmm. So he'll want to know what's going on. Is it that you are in trouble, you are in debt? Are you sick? Are you medicating? Are you doing what? What is this that causes you to have to do Never this? And if he knows that you're working, then he's also thinking at the back of his mind, are you in loans? Are you in what? Because that's not normal. Mm -hmm. So anybody that cares for you will want to go beyond that request for a thousand because there seems to be a systemic problem. Whoever does not will just do it on the surface and they never get to know what exactly is this person going through. Maybe you owe people money somewhere. Your life is actually in danger. You're threatened. You're sick. You're on medication every day. So the money is not the real issue. That's a symptom. But if I don't care, I will not want to know why you need this money. It could be something else. You know, so People giving you what you want does not mean they care for you. It means they can. Sometimes, yes, it means they can, and sometimes it's their way of not getting involved in your life. Just have what you want. I, I'll keep on using the analogy of children because there it's a bit objective. Uh, if I just keep giving my kids whatever they need so that they don't need me, you know, that doesn't mean I care for them. I'm robbing them of me then when they need money, get it. You need a toy, get it. You need that anything that can keep you quiet, mm -hmm. I give it to you. It will look like care initially, but when they need to have deep conversations and when they're going through real deep stuff, they will realize I was never there. Yeah. This is what I want to say and to repeat. <laughs> now, you may notice since Roberta, I'm going to calm down. <laughs> 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 No wonder I couldn't change Ah, them. Okay. Iko mm. Eve. Me me na be a boy child. Ule ako twenty to eighteen to maybe 24. forty. Na jao. Number one, as a man, you do not have a biological clock. That is number one. How un fai kuwa na pressure kuwa. Number two, kama uwezi kujibeba uwezi beba mtu mwingine. You must be able to carry yourself first before you carry any other person. Take your time. Make your money. Ukijipata kwa situation una complain mama kikuitisha basic need kama kutengeneza nywele, hauko ready kuoa. Take your time, invest in yourself and invest money out there. In <laughs> buy land, to ABCD, fungua mabiashara. Ndio ukioa, kama utaja complain, u complain unaitishwa vitu abnormal. Sio kitu basic kama ati pesa ya food mmoja tuma unakasirika unafura ati hujatutumia pesa ya kwenda kupeleka mtoi akaba uniform unafura unasema watu wanatishanga doko ile okay wewe unajua wewe hujaitumia mtu pesa akakurudishia akwambia itoshi usikie bila ina feel ume sacrifice then you send them 1000 and they return it to you really haijatosha ukipata doubt tumie sasa kama ushaifanywa hivyo you know how it feels okay take your time my guy Usipigwe pressure ati jubra zako ameoa akiwa 24 na wewe wewe best yako ameoa kuna mtu hii kuna mtu hii yo take your time make money invest in yourself be a whole person then that way you will know who to bring on board to help you live your life Right, mtu ameandika hapa hivi anaitwa nganga tu hapa ameona lazima aseme i totally disagree with shata a woman should be financially independent just in case the money is not around. How old is he? Otherwise, money, he's 40. Otherwise, money <laughs> is very important in any relationship. I love Akasama, you cannot need someone else's money urgently. Tafuta yako. <laughs> anyway, all right, I'd like to say thank you so much. to Mona hapa Winnie ametuongezea time or amesema kifua mbele wacha tulogiwe <laughs> but asante sana uh, we like to end it there remember you can go but if you just cut the tail end of this there's so many people who made different points here but i guess at the end of the day pia is just you know communicate jua kitu unataka whether it is you want kukua kama shot and that's the part that you've decided to wait until you have enough money although Dwayne Carter can even say too much money ain't enough money <laughs> you need sawa if you want to just go at it as you make your own money and talk to somebody and have sort of an agreement of what is it we are doing here then that is acceptable as well so let us be wary of uh, 2k urgently 
too, man. Can I say one thing? Just one thing. Shorty. Um, men, please don't base your worth off of how much money you have. Don't I was feel say like, that, man. Don't feel like you can't be loved because you don't have don't money. Have money. Right. Or you right. can't. Who's the dangani wana You know, please end this show. No, no. Without money, you cannot get through life in this country. Bye. 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 Make money. <laughs> Make money, yes, but it's not the end all. Yeah. You don't know what you need. All right. Love you. Peace and love. <laughs>